morning everyone this is ranger rob and welcome to the ranger rob country living channel and uh it appears we have a dirt road in the front of our property and it appears that they're uh uh graveling it or something and uh would have kind of been nice to get a heads up first but um i'm sure they're doing the best job they can and uh let's go take a peek and see what they're doing yeah so looks like they've been uh just kind of grading it uh but that's you know it's kind of funny this particular area we live in it's a big community and uh they pave like a mile or so a year of some of the roads around here so you, i guess you never know really which road's going to get paved next um not that we really have any problems with our uh road at all it's actually been very nice but uh, uh like i said i'm sure they're just doing the best job they can so we have another beautiful day here in uh, central oregon uh i could even say sparkling <laughs> and uh so we took a day off from recording yesterday and uh gosh i tell you the news is just full of stuff between what's going on with israel and the gas shortages and Taiwan's now having power outages. Uh, now inflation's, they're actually starting to tell the truth a little bit. Not quite everything. And the world is just peaceful and hunky-dory. Which just reminds us why we should all be kind of, I don't know, just be prepared. Get ahead of the game a little bit. And uh, be aware of the stuff's going on. And be proactive. So uh, we're going to go check uh, all the greenhouse and everything else. And I might get the NFT system up and running today. Uh, NFT system being this system over here. Uh, it all depends on my plants. Um, when that fires up, the water is only about that high at the bottom. So it's important that the roots touch that water um, so uh, I mean there's other things I can do but there's no reason for it I can put out the plants I have in my floating rafts and let the roots expand a little bit so uh, let's hop in here real quick and it's nice and warm Ooh, probably too warm um, I have to open up some windows but I put a bunch of plants in the uh, rafts that are intended to go into the NFT and what we're trying to do is get their roots out a little longer and my potatoes are just growing like crazy what a nice problem all right guys I'm checking out the chickens apparently <laughs> the chickens broke their door and <laughs> they've been just being big babies and uh, I think it's freaking them out luckily it was a string holding it and uh oh my gosh I knocked off all the molding so uh <laughs> I don't know how animals can manage this but uh yeah it looks like I better grab a couple of screws and uh a drill and put this thing back together I use staples to hold this together and uh Apparently they're just a little too brutal. So I'm going to drill and then screw these on and uh, put this thing back together. And of course I need a drill bit. The reason I want to drill those is it doesn't split the wood when I put screws in. And uh, of course I got to go all the way up to the shop here, find a drill bit, and we'll go back. All right, guys, we got that all fixed up. We got some happy chickens now. And uh, it's actually a simple fix, but uh, yeah, those staples didn't hold out and they uh, somehow knocked them out. So good thing we came out here. Guys, I'm out by the strawberry towers and I can tell spring is here. 
but uh, my new little raspberry plants are doing okay and but I still got what I call my stick but I was looking a little closer at my other stick it looks like it's emerging some raspberries at the bottom so glad about that then uh the other, the other thing I was telling you about my other blueberries which I was calling sticks too they're actually starting to leave up a little bit and so is this one here oops and then these are the other two I put in uh, that were bigger plants so I was glad to see the almost all my berry plants are coming alive now the edges of all this place is the grass is creeping out the edges and uh, so I probably need to spray some grass killer um, along the edges here and then I got to get this last part finished up and covered and we'll put beauty bark in here so this will look real pretty <laughs> when we're done here but uh, raspberry uh, the strawberries are uh, chugging along pretty good um, they're still kind of establishing themselves but uh yeah this thing's gonna be loaded hopefully with strawberries in a month or two so pretty exciting well since guys uh my uh, potatoes are producing so well <laughs> and growing like crazy i've got to make more dirt today so once again for those of you uh who are wondering how we make our dirt we use coconut core we buy this at uh they call it a seed starting mix this makes a lot of once you add water it makes a lot of soil and we mix it with perlite uh, about one third of uh, mix into it and uh, you just add water and then uh, we just use when we water our plants we use nutrients in the water and uh, yeah you can make this stuff endless as long as you got coconut core and of course all these towers have got coconut core and perlite so anyway I'm gonna make some more dirt so the way this works once again is you just put your bricks in add a lot more water than you think and uh, before you know it this turns into one big bucket of dirt yep in just a few minutes there you go a lot of dirt so let's go ahead and add the perlite now we just blend this together which is very simple and we're done and uh, I know I keep telling people I'm making dirt but it's not really dirt is it but anyway guys it's coconut core and perlite <laughs> so let's get this mixed up and then we can uh, add some of this to the potatoes again and a blink in our eye there you go some beautiful growing medium <laughs> not dirt it's dirt anyway let's take this over to the greenhouse over there it's much heavier now with all the water in it and go help our potato plants all right guys got my dirt in here look how these plants have grown uh, looks like I could almost take all the three or four of them to the top and I'm done and these these old guys are growing pretty fast too but yeah it's amazing how fast the potatoes are growing Well, we got those potatoes all taken care of and covered up. I have two of them all ready to the top, so I'm done adding dirt to them. Today, it's time to, to fire up the NFT system. So today, I'm going to bring out my nutrients. That's what I brought a table out here for. Going to get the nutrients up the balance here. I don't want this water. I have water in there, and I don't want it sitting too long before. It, uh, I want to get the water circulating. I may only have one plant to add <coughs> to it right now. But uh, that's okay, I'll, um, it's a learning experience, so uh, it'll be interesting to see what kind of problems I might have with the net cups and stuff. So, all right, we're gonna put a master blend into this. I'm, I'm gonna use the tomato blend because it, um, well, if it's anything like, like my t potatoes, love my tomato mix. So uh, we'll start with that. And uh, remember I'll be using master blend, Epsom salt, and uh, uh, calcium nitrate and uh, it's like 
two tablespoons of master blend to every five gallons. This is a 38 gallon tank here. So I use the, I, I don't fill it to the top. So I, I use the base number of 35 gallons. So uh, let's get that, let's get those added. You don't need to watch that part. We'll get it fired up and let's see if I got a plant that qualifies to go into the NFT system. So <sighs> we're putting it off a little bit, but it's time to do it. Alrighty guys, so I got the nutrients put into the tank, got it running. I have one little cucumber plant <laughs> planted over here that had just enough roots that should be able to reach the, the water. And uh, we'll let that be our first uh, guinea pig. And uh, I imagine I gotta watch my water levels a little bit with all these holes being open like they are. Uh, probably get a little more evaporation, but the cucumber should be really happy because now it's gonna get direct sun. So uh, if it's getting water and its roots are reaching, uh, that'll be a good thing. So we'll keep an eye on it and see how it goes for the next few days. Well, I just got back from, yeah, Home Depot again. And it's because I got to fix some of our water systems. I got a lot of them to fix, but uh, I needed a part like this. And of course, you can never have enough coconut core. And I am definitely becoming a sucker for the plant area. So I got some experimental plants here I want to try in the hydroponics. And uh, I'm not patient enough to start from seed. So first of all, I got to go fix one of our water systems. I gotta get this cap on there because right now it's a fountain <laughs> and I've got a lot of those. So anyway, let's get this fixed. So this this was a pretty easy fix. I just had to get a new cap on here but uh, it was totally gone and it was just shooting up in the air and uh, I've got actually quite a few of them in this area but all of them are working except that one and uh, yeah it was pretty Quite a sight. Now the next uh, sprinkler I need to fix is right here. And I believe it's one of these units. I'm hoping. So I'm going to see if I can figure out how it works. And see if I can get it fixed. Alright guys, I got that little bugger back in there. I had to dig all the way down. Reconnect it. And uh, now I can decide or figure out how to adjust it. And so uh, I got to get a little screwdriver to do that. Okay, now we'll get that fixed. Wasn't that bad. Uh, let's see what we can do with these plants. Okay, so I, uh, I found a little jalapeno and I modified the cups so the uh, roots, I uh, cleaned them up, took the dirt off of them. This is a review one more time of what we did with the NFT system. I decided to try some jalapeno peppers some spinach, some Swiss chard, this is a cucumber, and this is another uh, uh, spinach. And so uh, uh, they all have roots long enough to reach the water. I'm sure that they're going to be in a little bit of shock for a while, uh, but we'll see how they do. Uh, it's kind of an experiment. Um, I don't know. I, uh, kind of anxious I guess but let's see what let's see what happens I'm back in the greenhouse by the way one of Sherry's little flowers have bloomed but uh what I wanted to show you is I went ahead and bought three different peppers uh, red pepper green pepper yellow pepper and uh, I'm gonna try them in the uh, Dutch bucket system and see how they do um, just checking to see if the water is working on these Yep. So yeah. Um, sorry, I wasn't paying attention with the camera very well. I also got a couple of uh, more. I bought a six pack of spinach, so I did get some spinach put in here, and uh, right here too. And so now uh, the entire raft is full. And we'll see how uh, everything, all we need now is just time and let everything go. All the tomatoes are looking good. And uh, yeah, so we got a full house. So that's kind of a good thing. Besides playing with the uh, NFT system a little bit, I've kind of been using this day to kind of start getting my hands around some of these uh, broken water 
pipes. Uh, when they uh, put our new siding on the house, uh, they tore up everything. And so I've got a water, uh, little quarter inch water uh, pipes that are, uh, <laughs> sorry, I just can't think of the words for all this, uh, that need caps on them. So I got a pocket full of caps here and we're going to go through and see if we can't get this under control a little bit. Boy, this definitely be a been a, a mixed bag of things to do today. So we got a lot of the sprinklers heads corrected. There's a lot more. I need to run everything in test mode. Have some equipment with me and like uh, uh, things to cut the hoses with, electrical tape, things like that. To get all these in order. So anyway, busy day. Lots of things going on. A lot of miscellaneous stuff. And uh, I want to thank you very much for watching. Take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. And in the comments below, say hello and tell us what you're up to and what things you'd like us to show you uh, a little closer. And uh, our subjects you want us to talk about, we'll be happy to. So guys, have a great day. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.